Hey guys, this is Red. Hmm, today I'm an astronaut. Okay, let's do it again. Hey guys, this is Astronaut Red and I'm going to show you all the different hidden key combinations that you can use in Minecraft to simplify your Minecraft life. So, let's get started. Did you ever find yourself in a situation in, for example, when you used some clone commands or wherever your chunks weren't properly updating the stuff that they had inside? Well, if this happens, if the chunks in your world are not generating properly, you see some missing chunks, some chunks that are void, you just have to press F3 plus A and this key combination reloads all the chunks, as you can see from the chat as well. It is going to reload all the chunks that, of course, you can load and hopefully this problem shouldn't happen anymore. Right. So I have used this secret key combination a lot of times while making this PPAP animation. So basically this allows you to reload some textures or sounds that are in the game. And it's really useful if you're working with sounds or if you are working for example on a resource pack and making a 3D model. By using this key combination you don't have to close Minecraft and open it again so the textures load or you don't have to uh, take your resource pack off and put it on and wait some time. All you can do is pressing F3 plus T. Now for example if uh, I'm playing a sound like this, like the PPAP song and I want to stop it well, in the new versions of Minecraft, there's a slash stop sound command, stop sound. But if you don't know how to use it and you want to quickly remove all the sounds, just press F3 plus T. And bada bim, really quickly, we have, uh, of course, reloaded the resource packs. And of course, since we did it, the play sound is not played again. So uh, we just removed the song that was playing. This is really useful, as I said, if you are working with musics or if you are, uh, for example, uh, working on a 3D model. I have used it for a 3D model as well. And that's pretty much it. F3 plus P is the next key combination. And at first I didn't know what it was and I had to look up in the Minecraft wiki. And basically it enables or disable the pause on lost focus. Now, if this rule is disabled, as it is right now, and if you want to keep your game open, but in the same time open another window in your computer, well, there's a easy way to do it. For example, you just press T and the game will remain open. And then you can, of course, access whatever you have in your screen. But I don't know, I don't find this really useful, but there's another way to do it. And it's by, of course, enabling the pause on lost focus. When pause on lost focus is enabled, which is done by default, and you press the Windows key on your keyboard and you open another application, the game will be paused automatically. And if this is something that you don't want to happen, you just have to press F3 plus P to disable the pause on lost focus. And if you press the Windows key and open another program, you can see that the game, it remains open and it will go on, if, for example, if you have some farms or wherever. But I find it kind of useless because you can just press T and you can do the same exact stuff the game is not going to pause anymore. Anyways, if you want to do it without pressing the, uh, without opening the chat, this is a way that you can use by pressing F3 plus P. Okay guys, so the next five key combinations that I'm going to show you are really useful if you are a uh, redstoner, a map maker, if you work with command blocks, etc, etc. But still can be useful if you are a normal player and you want to know a bit more about Minecraft. For example, by pressing F3 plus H, probably many of you guys already know it because I have probably mentioned it in some of my older videos. F3 plus H, it says advanced tool tips shown or hidden. So if this is set on shown and if you hover over an item, for example, you can see what type of item it is. For example, here we have infested water, right? This is part of a map that I'm working on, uh, which is called the Alchemist 2. I'm not going to say a release da date because I have temporarily paused this project. Anyways, if you want, for example, to know what an item is, even if it is custom modeled, if you're, for example, playing on a map that has custom models and you want to know what that item is, just press F3 plus, plus H and now you can see that it says in grey, it's written in grey, Minecraft colon skull. Now we know that this is a skull. This is useful if you want to know the ID of blocks if you make custom craftings and stuff like that and you have to use not the name that you see on an item but the name that you see under it. For example, the Jekyll Lantern is not called Jekyll Lantern but Minecraft recognizes it as lit underscore pumpkin. Uh, yeah, so if you press F3 plus H again, you won't see this anymore. I actually need some spam on the chat to show you this key combination. Okay, let me write something. So maybe, so hopefully someone will write something in the chat. Anyways, uh, the next key combination is F3 plus D. And this is really useful if you wanna clear the chat history. 
For example, if you're on a server or I think that this guy is taking a selfie with me. Okay, let's pose for the selfie. Anyways, uh, this key combination is, for example, if you want to clear the chat history, if you have spam in the chat, for example, you just press F3 plus D. Come on, someone has to write something in the chat. No one wants to collaborate today. Okay, screeny, right. I want, for example, to remove this message. Just press F3 plus D. And as you can see, nothing is saved in the chat. And if you want to take a screenshot, for example, I know that you can just press F1. But in this case, it will not show the hotbar and, for example, um, any scoper objective. So if you don't want to show only the chat, just press F3 plus D. And voila, it will clear the chat. You guys have been asking me under many, many videos how I was able to switch between game mode 1 and game mode 3 so quickly as I'm doing right now. So for example, let's say that we have to get through this wall really quickly and go in game mode 3. Instead of typing slash game mode 3, which is really boring and takes a lot of time, just press F3 plus N and voila, look at how fast it is. How fast I can switch between game mode 1 and game mode 3. Oh, this is actually really cool. <laughs> Alright, this secret key combination is really useful if you're working, for example, in a custom map and uh, all you have to do, you press F3 plus G and in this case it will show you the boundaries of the chunks. Basically, it will show you where a chunk ends and where the other one uh, starts. This is re really useful, again, if you're working in a custom map, if you want, for example, to... I don't know to work in the spawn chunks. For example, here you can see that I built this platform and it is showing each of these uh, different chunks in different colors of the clay uh, that is forming this platform. And I built it really quickly thanks to this key combination, which of course allows me to see the boundaries of the chunks. This secret key combination is useful if you want to fight something, someone, or I don't know, if you're doing a boss battle. And also if you want to know where a entity is facing, if you're working, for example, with custom block models, it doesn't matter what you are doing, you will also find a use for this key combination because if it is in the game, it means that people from Moyang, they knew why they added this. So if you press F3 plus B, you can see the hitboxes of a any entity in the game. So for entity, we mean any entity. Items, dropped items are entities, for example, and of course, any type of mob, which are, of course, entities. You can see the hitbox of a player because the player is an entity, of course. Did you guys know that there is also another way to uh, set your render distance without going into the settings of the game? And of course, setting it with uh, this option right here. This can be done thanks to another secret key combination, which is F3 plus F. And if we press F3 plus F, we can increase the render distance and as you can see it also says it here in the chat now if you want to decrease it you can of course do it again without going to the game options and it's simple you press shift f3 and f to decrease your render distance until you reach the minimum which is two now there are other two key combinations using f3 which i left for the end because i'm not going to explain what these do but anyways we have uh, shift plus f3 and it opens a debug screen with a graph that shows various informations about the game. Now, as I said, I didn't inform myself about this graph, so I can't explain you what this graph has, but I think that it knows, it shows you, for example, I don't know how much memory the sounds are using, and uh, here, really, in a really, really tiny font, we have some numbers written. For example, number 6 is sound. So if I press 6 now, it will show me the pie chart of the sound and if I press 0 I can go back on the previous menu so if I press 1 it uh, shows me the pie chart of a display update which is nothing again let's try 2 okay we have a different pie chart and press 0 if you wanna go back now there's another graph for your debug screen which can be accessed by pressing ALT and F3 and I think that this one shows you the game ticks of a game. You can see that this graph changes depending on where I look, if I'm lagging or not, etc, etc. Now, again, I have to inform myself about this one. I'm pretty sure that some of you guys probably know exactly what those graphs are. If you want to open both the graphs, just press Alt, Shift and F3 and you'll have all of the graphs shown in your debug screen. Alright, so this is the most requested information on my channel right now. You have guys been asking me how I do some of the stuff that I did in my older videos a lot of times and now I'm going to show you guys how I take for example a chest and save it with all the items inside into my inventory. This is really really easy. You only have to press Ctrl 
plus the pick button, which is set to default if you go on options and controls. The pick block, this one is the pick block button, is also set to button 3 of the mouse, which is your mouse wheel. Now, if you changed it, you use the pick button button that you have selected on your uh, controls options. Anyways, you press control and mouse wheel while you're looking at a block. For example, at this furnace, as you can see, this furnace has 5 coals inside. If I press control and mouse wheel, I will get the furnace in my inventory, but if we hover our mouse over it, you can see that there's a plus MBT writing in violet. This means that we have picked the furnace with all the data that it has inside and saved it to our inventory. Now if I place down this furnace and I open it, you can see that it has already the coal inside. I use it a lot of times as you can see for example in my tutorials, so I have a chest with all of the items in my inventory, then I pick it up, I destroy it. And of course, it will give me the items that it has inside. You can apply this to all blocks that can hold data inside, for example, dispensers, ender chests, etc, etc. Now guys, I'm pretty sure that you knew most of the things that I have listed in this video, or probably all of them, who knows. But anyways, if this video helped you, and if you discovered something new thanks to this video, don't forget to leave a big fat thumbs up under it, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, that would be awesome. As always guys, I want to thank you all for watching this video until the end, and I'll see you all in my next video. See you. Bye.